when did you know you wanted to become a professional soccer player? I've got an older brother and older sister, so um, it was always 2v1 in the backyard. <laughs> so it was always pretty competitive in our family, in any sport. My brother and sister changed to touch football and I was still on the tennis court, but the tennis court was near the touch football field, so I was trying to play tennis and <laughs> mum was like, OK, go play touch. I grew up playing a lot with my older brother. I used to join in and I was with all the boys. I just loved playing against them and, you know, being physical and trying to be my older brother in <laughs> anything I could. When I first played with the girls, I was knocking girls over and I was <laughs> getting a lot of fouls against me. I was like, this is normal. So you've obviously been in the Matildas a couple of years. Have you noticed anything different with the media attention? After winning that Tour of Nations, I think we've got a lot of people actually knowing who the Matildas are. And usually I think when we go to places and we say, oh yeah, with the Matildas, like, oh, hockey, netball, yeah, no. <laughs> I've been around the W League since the first season. It's definitely grown in terms of the international players we're getting over and I guess there's still obviously stepping stones that we want to take in the W League in terms of growing it to a full home and away and making it into like a bigger and more professional league. Obviously with Matilda's year this year leading the way and everyone getting more noticed and becoming icons in themselves.